The ICU Lab, a ninth grade conceptual physics video. In the ICU lab, two people stood at different distances from a wall. The goal was to figure out where to put the mirror along the wall so that person A could see person B. Though there were different ways of solving this problem, all ways rely on the fact that light bounces to make equal angles when it hits the mirror. The mirror is at point P. There are two sets of equal angles. The ones that the rays of light make with the walls measure angle XPA and measure angle YPB. And the ones that the rays of light make with a line drawn perpendicular to the wall called a normal measure angle APN and measure angle BPN. We are always going to draw a normal and refer to the angles that the rays of light make with the normal. The ray of light coming into the mirror is called the ray of incidence. The ray of light that hits the mirror and bounces off the mirror is called the ray of reflection. The angle between the ray of incidence and the normal is called the angle of incidence. The angle between the ray of reflection and the normal is called the angle of reflection. One way to solve the ICU problem is to use a protractor to find the spot on the wall where the imaginary line coming from person A and the imaginary line coming from person B make equal angles with the normal. Some people are able to just instinctively eyeball this spot. If you play a lot of billiards or pool or are good at bouncing balls, you can use those skills. Where would you shoot the red pool ball so that it would bounce off the wall and hit the yellow pool ball? Another way to solve the ICU problem is to think of the surface of the wall as a temporary mirror and to reflect reality from one side to the other. Light travels in straight lines, even though it really bounces. Your eye sees the light travel straight, so you want the line of light that goes from the red person directly to the yellow person. You can also use this idea of reflecting reality on the other side of the wall to find the location of the mirror in a different way. Drop normals, lines that are perpendicular to the wall, from each person. Then draw lines from one person to where the other person's normal hits the wall. Then draw the normal from the point at which the two lines cross. The mirror goes where that new normal hits the wall. Optional eye work. Prove, you've what, use what you know from geometry about triangles to prove that this spot is exactly where the angle of incidence equals the angle of reflection. Two other ways use similar triangles in math to determine where the mirror goes. For the first, you need to know the perpendicular distance from each person to the wall, xa and yb. Then you need to know how far apart they are along the wall, xy. Triangle AXP and triangle PYB have equal angles and are similar triangles. So you can set up ratios. XA over XY minus PY equals YB over PY. This is more clear if we actually use numbers. Person A is 8 feet from the wall. Person B is 2 feet from the wall. The along the wall distance between them is 5 feet. You can set up ratios. 8 is to 5 minus X as 2 is to X. So eventually, x equals 1 foot. If you flip the smaller triangle into mirror space, you can use similar triangles in a different way. Some people like this way better because the math is somewhat easier. You don't have to distribute. After you flipped, you have a new set of similar triangles. The little right triangle on the top, and the big right triangle that goes from the top yellow face all the way down to the bottom red face. Using ratios again, we have x is to 2, as 5 is to 8 plus 2, or x is to 2 equals 5 is to 10. Now it's time for a practice problem. Person A is 10 feet from the wall. Person B is 4 feet from the wall. The along the wall distance between them is 8 feet. Try this yourself any way you want. Pause the video before you go on. The answer is that x equals 2.28 feet.